California Senate passes bill requiring permit to buy ammo. Yeah, it does seem pretty ridiculous, don't you think? The California Senate this week approved a collection of bills, including one SB 53, that would require background checks, permits, and fees for the purchase of ammunition. All ammunition sales would have to be face-to-face, -face, happening only in the presence of a store clerk, and vendors selling the bullets would have to have have to submit a sales record to the California Department of Justice. These vendors would also need a permit to sell ammunition. Kira Davis noted that SB 53 requires background checks in a $50 ammo purchase fee. So I'm not exactly clear if that's for every uh, box of bullets sold. I definitely hope it's not. But to say that you need to submit to a background check to purchase ammunition and not only that, pay them to do said thing is just a complete overreach. These people have truly uh, lost their mind. I'll just say what it is. They've lost their minds. Because think about it. You can go out and buy as much alcohol as you want. Uh, no permit or special thing required. You can go out and buy many things as much as you want. No permit required. But this reminded me of an article that we reported on earlier this year. Florida State Senator files bill requiring anger management before buying ammunition. You can see it right there. And we can scroll down a little bit. It would require a three-day waiting period for the sale of any firearm and also would make it a crime to buy ammunition unless you presented a certificate showing you completed a minimum two-hour anger management program either online or face-to-face. -face. And somebody made the joke, uh, one of my friends was saying, you know, making somebody take an anger management to buy bullets is like forcing somebody to go to an AA meeting before they ever buy their six-pack of beer. And I would agree it does sound uh, completely ridiculous and way far-fetched. And I, and I don't believe this person is a bad person. Uh, this uh, Senator Aubrey Gibson, or Audrey Gri Gibson, I should say, out of Florida, the last person uh, out in California. These are, I'm sure, well-meaning, good people who want these things, uh, just want something, have a knee-jerk knee reaction. And they just want to do something about these uh, epidemics, these school shootings and so forth. But they go about it the wrong way, in my opinion. You know, uh, find some other way to, to help people. Uh, exactly what that would be, I don't know, but making people submit uh, information that just gives the government more knowledge as to your whereabouts, your activities, what you're interested in, I don't think that's the right way to do it. Now we'll go on to this, talking about uh, the way the world is viewing bullets and so forth. About one week of U.S. military spending would wipe out world hunger. Common sense just doesn't, isn't so common. World hunger an expense that has been calculated about three, excuse me, 30 billion per year, that's billion with a B. To put that into perspective for you, the U.S. military spent 737 billion, that's billion with a B, on military defense in 2012, 30 billion of which would be about eight days of such an expenditure. But, you know, you may be sitting at home, you're saying, hey, it's not the U.S.'s job to feed the whole world. And I would agree with you, and uh, Mr. Gucciardi, who wrote this article, he'd also agree with you as well. But think about this. It's not our job as the U.S. to be Team America World Police, to do nation building, to arm Syrian rebels who have pledged themselves to Al Qaeda. It's not our job to do that either. But uh, we seem to do that with no problem. But, you know, 30 billion, that's a whole lot. But you could feed, you know, maybe some starving kids, every, you know, a couple places. But nobody wants to do that. It's just common sense just isn't so common. We'd much rather uh, shoot up these kids' homelands and have them suck up the depleted uranium than actually give them a sandwich. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.